right, it's time to come out here and do a little damage control. I'm in the on the back patio this time. It's been a lot of rain. The storm, a big storm came through and did some damage back here. But did some good things too. So you know these plants got some got a lot of good rain and nitrogen and everything from the from the rain. So they they've been growing. They're my broccoli they're going going to seed so I'm not too much worried about that there's my fig tree I don't know what's going on with that either but it's hanging on in there might be too much water I might have to bring that in tonight I think it's gonna rain again it looks pretty bad out here and there's my bell pepper it's uh it grew another it grew leaves back because all the leaves fell off once i bought it from the store from the big box store and uh it grew a it grew a bell pepper turned red and that fell off too and you know all the leaves everything fell off and then it started growing back you know I gave it some different some some different type of soil i think i think i did i think it was some potting potting soil and i put that mulch on top so it started growing leaves back and it's growing has a flower so it can so it can get pollinated and here are these are my um what's it call it my sweet potatoes i cut the leaves off and replanted it so i can grow more some more um sweet potatoes and here's my um, strawberries here. I'll put those in there. These shoots in here. See if keep on. See if it keep on growing. But this is what some of the damage that happened last night. This was a big marigold here, and I had already cut some of it off already and put it in that pot, and it did pretty good. But that broke in three, and so I tried to put it in that pot. They're not doing too good. I did that to actually today. And it's it's just a mess. It, and it's not taking. So um, if I give it a little bit more water, I don't know. But we'll see. So let's go around front and see what's going on over here. Go all the way around here. Be there soon. I'll go around to the front. See what's going on on this side. Ugh, all these plants are leaning to the side. They look a mess. Oh my gosh. It's a mess over here. That storm did some damage last night. Here's my watermelon. And here's my little trellis. <laughs> my son and my husband tried to put together for me because this was growing so big and overtaking the trellis that it's already on I need to you know redirect it and get it off these tomatoes because it's growing it's growing pretty good and it's taking over my little I don't know taking over my tomato little cage I made for my tomatoes and it should be over here but oh well we'll fix it in a minute oh, here's my little tomato plant I was like I'm not gonna do anything else to it let it see what it does on its own and the rain put that down to the to the side I'm gonna have to replant that which is good though because it looks like it needs to be See, it's trying to get some. It's trying to get some root right there. So I'm thinking I need to go ahead and like maybe put the put it in another pot and put the um some dirt all the way up here so it can grow more roots, so it could be a lot more stronger. And um, I bought another <laughs> another another cucumber plant because the one I had kind of died off. But then my husband came and used the weed whacker after I just planted it and. It look a mess but it's still growing it's got the little tentacles on there and oh it look like it's gonna have some 
It looked like um, what powdery, powdery mildew. I gotta spray that with some milk or something. Oh my! And here are my sunflowers that's tilted to the side, so I'm gonna have to try to fix that. Oh, I thought I left my what's the call this in there? Hold this for me. Let me put this up. Try to fix this real quick because it's starting to rain right there. Hold it right there. side or if it's tall enough or the stick is, is strong enough. We're going to have to see what happens. This is on a gap. Sorry, it's gonna work. Yes. Press stop. Thank you.